This time now in trot, move into canter. And then if we do exactly the same with the canter, we move a little bit on for a few strides, and then back a little bit. That's it, so think a little bit medium. Good. And then come back to the seat, sit up tall. So you, when you know when you ride forward, and you create that impulsion and that jump in the hind leg. When you come back, you must actually ride with the legs the same way. The muscles are going to focus too much on actually coming back with the hands and doing nothing with the legs. Your leg must still communicate. Now, legs, 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 legs. Ah. That's it, and back into canter. You must be a bit quicker, that's it. Even if she falls into trot, don't worry about anything. Just your main necessity is to get back into canter as quick as possible. So with the horse, realizes you didn't want to trot. Keep talking with your legs. Communication between the half hold and the impulsion. Oh, that's it, use those legs, good. Much better there, now she comes more uphill, yeah? Yep. Good, okay, back to trot now. There was a moment there, this last half of the circle, where she started coming a little bit more this way in her body. Yep. And that basically comes from you engaging your seat and your leg into your hand. That's what makes the horse then engage the hind leg into the contact. The same thing for me in the canter is, like you say, to work on the collection, yeah. is you have to make sure that you sort of, you fill the canter with enough impulsion first. Yeah. And then you have to think about then bringing that impulsion back. back. Yeah. But it's all about basically her keeping her softness. Yeah. Because whenever she drops into trot, it's always when she goes a bit hollow. Yeah. What I would do with her is a lot of circles. Yeah, but actually circles of like 10 meters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that she stays, learns to stay really soft. Yeah. And then try to work on the circle that you actually don't, you don't ride it like you would a test 10 meter circle. Yeah. You ride it like a gymnastic exercise. Yes, yeah, okay, so what am I doing? What... Take a lot more bend, ask for a lot more impulsion. Okay. You basically exaggerate everything that you need, you exaggerate a little bit.